Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'm a do Hey guys, it's your boy Jackie, I'm back with another video And today, I'm here with my football story So basically, I'm gonna be telling y'all when did I start playing And why did I stop playing So with that being said, let's go Alright, so before we start this video, I just want to say We are on the road to 500 subscribers So, if you are new to my channel and if you like my content I would really appreciate it if you go down and subscribe or if you're a returning subscriber, I would really appreciate if you would tell everyone you know, like your grandparents, your cats, your dogs, your parents, your sisters, your friends. I would really appreciate that. And like I said before, once I get to that 400, 500 subscriber mark, I have special videos planned for y'all. So the quicker we get there, the quicker those videos will come out. So with that being said, let's go. Alright, so this story takes back a while ago. So I'm going to tell y'all my story. So basically... This started off around like 2013, so six years ago. So basically, in elementary school, I was just a kid. I had not, I had no clue what football was, and so basically, I was just like a normal kid, just playing with my toys, my Pokemon, my Beyblades, my Bakuguns. I was just playing with my toys, and I had no clue what football was until like one day in like fifth grade. My dad, I think my dad was watching a Falcons game, and that's why I just fell in love. I fell in love because I was like when Matt Ryan was like throwing touchdowns to Julio, to Riley White, to Tony Gonzalez. That was like, that's when like the that offense was amazing, and it was just it was just like when Julio Jones like a rookie and stuff. So like it was just super fun to watch. I just fell in love. I, I fell in love, and like I love everything about football. You can ask my sister. Like I knew everything about football. Like. Not everything, but like all the players basically. So like she would ask me like a random number and I'll be like, oh that's so and so. So like I was so in love with the game. And then so one day I saw a flyer on school to play Pee Wee football. And then so I, I took it and I asked my parents and they were like, yeah. So yeah, and back in, at the time I was a chubby fat kid. So basically, you know, they were trying to, they were trying to tell me to lose some weight basically. And then so, <laughs> And then so I decided to go, go play, and then so I started in 2013 playing sixth grade football. And so my first year playing, I was bad, I was trash, I was garbage. So yeah, but the only reason I made the A team, so there was two teams, the A and the B team. The B team is for like the new players, so they could learn the game and stuff. And the A team was the team, the peop, the players that I've already been playing. So I was in the A team. I, like I said, I was a bigger kid, so they needed some size on the A team. And so I made the A team, but I was bad. I was trash. Like I got laid out in practice. I got laid out during games. I I, I got I got put to my ass a lot. Like, but you know, I, it, it, it was it was on the same. I was about, like when I first started. You know, I was bad, but. You know, I still love the game, so I kept going with it. And then seventh grade, that's when like I really fell in love with the game. And I was like, I was like, I can make it to the NFL. That's when like, like you know, when teachers ask you what you want to be when you grow up, that's when I was saying, I'm gonna make it to the NFL. And you know, it's crazy. To, it's looking back, it's crazy to think that, but that that was my dream at the time to make it to the NFL. And then so seventh grade year, I was playing. I I that was probably when I would say I got I became an average player. You know. I wasn't trash, but I was just the average, you know, I just did my job. And I forgot to say, I, I was playing right tackle, not right tackle, I was just playing offensive tackle and the defensive end, or D tackle. And that's those were my positions, I was just playing, it was fun, I got to sack quarterbacks, pancake people, it was just fun. And it was fun, I got I got a lot better from 6th grade to 7th grade, and then I really thought I could make the NFL. But going into 8th grade, that's when I like fucking blew up, like, I became like, God, kind of like I had 20 sacks in six games. Like, I was just playing, like, I was just going crazy. I was having fun with the boys. It was just so fun, and I just had, I got, to, I had fun, and that's when I really thought I could make it to the NFL. And so, like, the only reason I played six games instead of the eight was because I hurt my knee the second to last game. So I missed. It was like the very first like few plays, and I hurt my knee, and then yeah. <laughs> I, I missed the last of games and then I forgot to mention that the team that I played for was not that good so like 6th grade year we went 1-7 and 7th grade year we went 2-6 and six. and then 8th grade year we went 3-5 and five. yeah we went that good <laughs> so after the 8th grade season I was like on the high I was like oh bro I'm so good I'm about to go play in high school and ball out I was like I'm really about to make the league and shit I was like I really thought I was making the NFL 
and then ninth grade year, you know, we were just having fun, and then like the first or the second, the f like one of the first few plays of the game, my first high school game, I got a concussion. <laughs> so I basically missed out the season. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, mention that um, for my high school we had like the freshman JV and the varsity. So like at our school, they like they like to separate the freshmen from everyone else so they can like help them ease in, I guess. I don't know. I might I, that might just be my school. I don't know or other schools, but that's what they did. And I missed half the season. I missed four games, and I only played three. And I I played the average. I wasn't that good, but. That's when, like, I, after the my ninth grade season, that's when I worked my ass off to become a better player. I was just time to grind. And so I worked out every day, did everything I could to be a better player. And, at, who, and then as soon as I knew, I was a starting offensive tackle for the varsity team my sophomore year. It's just crazy to me because I was starting varsity at 15 when I was playing against people like 17, 18 years old. That's crazy to me. And I was like doing, I, I held my own too. I started varsity as a sophomore and that's when I kind of like lost the passion to play. You know, because I was expecting to play defensive end, not offensive tackle. I hated playing offensive line because I'm like, I was a lot smaller than the rest of the line, like the my, by weight wise, because I was only like 200 pounds playing right tackle and everyone else was like 220 and above I was undersized and I was like getting bodied and stuff I was getting tossed around and stuff I was getting like manhandled and it was not fun but you know I did what I did and after that I I said I was done because you know I wasn't having fun no more it just wasn't fun to me no more I, I just didn't want to play you know it was just that like you know, if you're not having fun, you shouldn't do it. And that was just my mindset. And I wasn't having fun no more because I wasn't playing the position I wanted to and I wasn't having fun. Yeah, I was starting varsity, but it just, you should do something you like. Like, I I had, I had much have rather play defensive end than the offensive tackle because I think I'm better at defensive end. But, so, who knows? What if I did play defensive end? Maybe I would still have, I'd still be playing, but who knows? Everything happens for a reason, and then so, so I, so my junior year, I decided to like. All right, so it's a it's a stupid story. So I decided to quit and then come back and then quit again. So I so basically after sophomore year, I did not come for any of the summer workouts because I was filming YouTube videos and making YouTube videos, and I also forgot to say this. Around 8th grade, that's when I started my YouTube channel, and that's when I became, I loved making YouTube videos, and I loved playing football. So, but I was never really consistent until now, because football takes up a lot of time, so I didn't have enough time. But that's junior year, that's when I started making a lot of videos, because that summer I skipped practice, and I, I quit, really, and then, but I came back for the school year, and then... I didn't play the spring game, but I played the first three games, I think. Yeah, I played like the first three games. I didn't really get play time, so I quit again. It was, junior year was like a bad time in my life, you know. I fell into like a depression. It just was not good. I, it, I wasn't me. I think, I feel like that was a learning year for me. I, I, cause, I, I, I don't think I'm the only one that could tell. I think a lot of people could tell that I've changed as a person from freshman year to senior year. And I personally like to change because I used to be a dickhead. I'm not gonna cap, but it's all good. And then I quit my junior year and I didn't, I didn't play. But around like mid-season when I was watching the games from the stands, I really missed it, you know? So what happened is that I decided to go back my senior year because I was just like, I'm never going to play again, so I might as well have to get my, like, put on my pads one last time, you know. That was just my mindset. But before my senior year, though, I hurt my ankle. I forgot which one. I think it was my left one. I hurt one of my ankles. But then, yeah, 
It doesn't really matter. I hurt both my ankles my senior year. And so I that not really missed me out on play time. That missed me practice time. But you know, you need practice to get play time. So I missed practice. I didn't get play time. I didn't really play a lot my senior year, you know. But I still I, I did alright. I didn't get a sack. My, I said my goal was to get a sack every game. I did not get a sack on the whole year. I played I played kind of bad, but it was my last time to suit up, and I'm not mad. I'm not mad that I didn't really get play time. At the at the moment, yes, I was mad because you know, but I'm I'm content. I'm happy. I'm happy with my football like my football journey. Because at least I can say I was able to make it through all the practices and all that shit that football players go through. I, I, I can say that. But am I going to miss the game? Oh, yeah. I'm going to miss, like, suiting up, hitting people. But I'm doing something I love now, and that's making YouTube videos. Because, like, now my passion is spreading happiness and making YouTube videos and entertaining people. That's my passion now. That's what I love doing. You know, your passions can change. At first, my passion was playing football, but now my passion is making YouTube videos. So, hopefully it works out, and maybe I'll get big one day. All right, so, just a short little recap of my football story. I started in sixth grade, was trash, became decent in seventh grade, was a god in eighth grade, and then went back to, like, average my ninth grade, and then went back to above average my sophomore year, and then went down to trash, and then senior year, I ended, like, average. It's just crazy, man. Football has done a lot for me. Like, I feel like football is the main reason why I changed as a person. Cause like, I'm happy with per like the person I became. I'm, I feel like I'm a good human, and I I like the way I be I like the human that I became, the person that I became. I I feel like football football had a lot to do with that. It's just crazy, cause like I'm never gonna play again. You know, once you've been doing something for your whole life, like not whole your whole life, but like a long time, it's just hard for you to say goodbye. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. And another big reason why I'm not, I'm not going to play football in college is that it's not that I didn't get offers. Coaches have been trying to hit me up, but it's just that the injuries, like the my knee injury, like my knees, the injuries are not worth it. You know, like my knees be hurting, my back, my like my, 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 my concussions. Like I had two concussions. And then my ankles, like my lower body is just all messed up. The injuries aren't worth it, you know. Because if you're not playing to make it to the NFL, I think I don't think there's a point of playing. So that's why I also decided to quit and I'm probably gonna play flag football though. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do some something related like flag. But it's just because you know, I've done I've been, I've played football for like six years now and it's just crazy because it's finally over, but I'm gonna miss it, but I still got my Falcons to watch though. I still I still love watching football. Football is my favorite sport of all time. So I still got my Falcons. But yeah, it just sucks to say goodbye, honestly. But you know, when your time comes, your time comes. Well that's my football story, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. So subscribe, shut them out. Tell me that you love me, even if it's